While most teenagers are focused on their friends, their schoolwork, maybe even just having fun, there are three young men, students from Loudoun County, who spend their free time helping children in need. Tonight, Harris's heroes are the three founders of the nonprofit organization Dream Bigger for Kids. Christmas is still two months away, but the elves are already at work in Edward Hill's basement. Edward and his two classmates, Nathan Hewitt and Nirja Dalvi from Leesburg's Tuscarora High School, they formed their own charity two years ago. It's called Dream Bigger for Kids. What we like to do is we purchase toys, comfort items, and clothes for homeless shelters, orphanages, and hospitals. This batch of toys will go to a rest and homeless shelter and medical clinic in Leesburg for needy families. Just the look on their faces is totally worth it. It's a very rewarding feeling. But then seeing some kids coming in without shoes, for example, like no shoes, and a toddler, like maybe three, four years old, and that kills me inside. The three young men who just went on another shopping spree, by the way, say their money comes from donations, fundraising events, and even corporate sponsors they've developed on their own. I'm helping an individual, my community, and the world become just a better place. I realize how privileged I am. Nathan is now and a I freshman at the College of William and Mary, and he has started a chapter of Dream Bigger for Kids there. If I can impact one child, I can, you know, change someone's life. And their little charity of three has grown now to include 15 staff members and more than 40 volunteers, all of them kids, doing what they can to help other kids. Dream bigger for themselves so that they can reach their potential. And it's getting even bigger and better. Edward and Nirhaj say that they also will be starting collegiate chapters of Dream Bigger for Kids when they go off to school. If you want to know more about their organization, just go to WJLA.com and click on Harris's Heroes there. Allison. All right, Leon, thank you very much. Well, up next right here, who's